It just seems natural to worry. Why do we worry? What's the point? What does it do for you? Where does it take you? It seems to me it just wastes time. I can sit here and worry every time I get in the car, every time I get on a plane, every time I go to school, every time I go to the store. But what does it do besides cause what ifs? What if I get in an accident? What if the plane crashes? What if there's a school shooting? What if I get kidnapped? The easiest thing is not to worry. I know easier said than done. But the Bible says in Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. The Bible says in Romans 8 28, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. The Bible says in Matthew 6, 25 through 27, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink or about your body or what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? Our God, our Father in heaven, won't do anything to harm us. Everything that happens in our life is for our own good, even if we don't think so, even if it doesn't feel good in that moment. So our mindset should be even if instead of what if. Even if this happens, I will be okay. Whatever happens, happens for a reason. Whether that's teaching you a lesson or preventing you from something in the future or teaching someone else a lesson or being able to relate to someone about something, it always is for a reason and it's not to harm you. It will benefit you even if you don't see it. If you just trust God, your life will be so much easier and a lot less stressful. Hey guys, so obviously today's video is a lot different than all my other ones. I wanted this to be a short and to the point video, but I still did also want to come on here and explain sort of at the end. Today is my 100th video and I've had this video idea for a while. I realized that I'm close to 100 videos so I thought why not make this my 100th video. This is a subject that is so close and dear to my heart. I get so passionate when I talk about worry because worry just sucks up so much of your life if you let it. It does not have any positive factor in your life. Worrying doesn't benefit you in any way so why do we do it? It's so much easier to worry but honestly it's so much easier to not worry. I had a period where every time I got in the car or was behind the wheel I would think well what if a deer jumps out in front of me? Well what if this? What if? What if? And that's not the right mindset to go into your day with. You're obviously going to have a bad day if you're constantly thinking what if. Now, you obviously should still be prepared. You shouldn't just be like, la di da di da naive to everything. And just being like, oh, it's fine, whatever happens. You still do need to be prepared for those situations, but you don't need to dwell on them. It's so much simpler that way. God is gonna use a story in some way. It's going to impact you or someone else's life in such a positive way. You still shouldn't do risky things or things that potentially can harm you. Just because God says he's not going to harm you doesn't mean your life is perfect. This subject of worry is something that I get very passionate about because I've been in that place where I'm like, well, what if this, if this happens, like, uh, so what? If it does happen, it's not in your control. You don't have the control over it. So why worry about something that you can't help? Obviously, once again, don't put yourself in dumb situations where you can help it. Don't do it just because you can say, well, this girl told me that uh, you shouldn't worry about anything. I'm not dissing people with anxiety because once again, I've been there. I felt like every time that I got in the car, I was anxious. And there are people with anxiety that are like, it just kills me that I have no control over this or what if this happens, but this video is for you because I know it might be easy to listen to this or to be like, oh, that's easy for you to say. Like, you've probably never had anxiety in your life, but I have. And like, I've just come to the realization, yes, I slip up. Yes, I worry still. I'm not a perfect person. No one is perfect. Your time should be spent serving God, not worrying and straying away from God. Because when you are worrying, you are not trusting God. Technically, you are sinning whenever you worry because you aren't trusting God 100%. I know it's hard. I, I'm guilty. I will sometimes doubt God and be like, well, why is this happening? If you're supposed to be helping me, then why is this happening? But you just have to trust God. It's so much easier if you just let him have it because he has so much more power than you and he has control over everyone's life, not just yours, but everyone's life. What's the point? That's my question. What's the point? What does worrying do for you? So yeah, that was my video. 
I really hope it impacted at least one of you and made you think about it. I really hope y'all did enjoy this video and took something from it. If you know someone who's struggling with anxiety or worry really bad, or they're just having difficulty trusting God, please share this video. Please just share this video with anyone who you think can benefit from it because this is something that everyone needs to hear. I really hope y'all took something from it. If you didn't, then rewatch it and just slow down and listen to it. I also have the notes right in front of me that I'm gonna hold up in a second if you want to screenshot them and just read over them and break it down. Here are the notes. I don't know if you can read them. Please, guys, just share this with your friends, whether it's this video or whatever you just learned from this video. If everyone that watched this video shared it with one person, then that one person shared it with another person. Just imagine the impact we can have. We will have that many less people worrying about unnecessary things. So yeah, that's my spiel. I just feel like God has laid this on my heart. Whenever I was having a conversation with this with someone the other day, I just really felt like I should make a video on this. I get so passionate about it. I just, I really need other people to hear this. Even if you do still have a few worries and this took off some worries off your chest, please, please just share this video guys or your experience or whatever. I feel like God is just about to move through this video and there's going to be so many people impacted from this. I hope so, but I know that God has it in his hands and that whatever happens with this video, if it gets zero views or one day it boosts off or whatever happens guys with this video it's god's plan thank you so much for watching this video guys if you have any other verses to add please leave them down below if you have any more verses about worrying or fear or whatever and another thing is the line in the bible do not be afraid is in there 365 times do you think that's a coincidence you have a do not be afraid for every day of the year because god does not want you to be afraid you just need to live your life serving him and pursuing his glory and you can't do that if you're huddled up in a ball worrying about life thank you so much for watching guys it means so much to me god is just gonna move through this video thank you so much for watching guys and remember do not worry